Hello, I am Paras, a senior technical account manager here at the AWS office in Northern Virginia. Today, I am going to show you how you can use Amazon API Gateway as a proxy for your static website hosted on Amazon Simple Storage Service. Let's get started. Before we begin, I would like to show that I already have S3 buckets configured for this demo. Also, I have this text editor handy where I will note down bucket names and other things as needed. To configure API Gateway as a proxy for your Amazon S3 static website, you can use either HTTP proxy integration or AWS service integration. Let's start with HTTP proxy integration. Use this method when your S3 static website is publicly accessible. First method, HTTP proxy integration. After you sign into the AWS Management Console, navigate to the API Gateway Console. Choose Create API, then choose Build under REST API. On the Create REST API page, choose New API, enter a name for your API, enter description, select the endpoint type, I'm choosing Regional, and then choose Create API. On the Resources page, choose Create Resource. On the Create Resource page, select the Resource Path slash and enter a resource name key as shown on screen. Choose Create Resource. Now, select the key resource in the left navigation and then choose Create Method. On the Create Method page, for method type, choose Get. For integration type, Choose HTTP. Turn on HTTP proxy integration. For HTTP method, choose get. For endpoint URL, enter HTTP colon bucket name dot S3 hyphen website dot region dot Amazon AWS dot com slash key. Replace bucket name and region with your values copied from the text editor. Keep everything as default and then choose create method. Next, we'll deploy the API on the resources page. Choose deploy API. On the deploy API pop-up window, choose new stage. Enter a stage name like dev and then choose deploy. Copy the invoke URL, open a new tab on your browser and then enter the invoke URL followed by your key name. I am using index.html as the key. Now let's talk about the second method, AWS service integration. Use this method when your S3 static website isn't publicly accessible. Create an IAM policy with S3 get object permission. From the AWS Management Console, navigate to the IAM Console. In the navigation pane, choose Policies, then choose Create Policy. Switch to JSON Editor and create the policy as shown. Replace XYZ with your bucket name, which you copy from the text editor. Then choose Next. Enter a policy name and then choose create policy. Next, create an IAM role and attach the policy to the role. In the navigation pane, choose roles and then choose create role. For trusted entity type, choose AWS service. For use case, choose API gateway and then choose next. On add permission screen, Click Next. Enter a role name. Verify that the trust policy looks as displayed. Choose Create Role. From the Roles list, select the role you created in the previous step. On the Permissions tab, under Permission Policy, choose Add Permissions, then choose Attach Policies. Select the policy that you created and then choose Add Permissions. Copy the role ARN. 
Go back to the API Gateway console. Choose Create API. Then choose Build under REST API. On the Create REST API page, choose New API. Enter a name for your API. Select the endpoint type. For this example, I am choosing Regional. Then choose Create API. Select slash under resources and then choose create method. On the create method page, for method type choose get. For integration type, choose AWS service. For AWS region, select the region your bucket is in. For AWS service, select simple storage service. Keep the AWS subdomain blank. For HTTP method, choose get. For action type, choose use path override. For path override, enter bucket name slash index.html. For execution role, enter the role ARN you copied. Finally, choose create method. Before you deploy the API, you must map the content type response. To edit the method response, choose method response. Under response 200, choose edit. Choose Add header and then enter content hyphen type. Finally, choose save. To edit the integration response, choose integration response. Under default response, choose edit. For the content type header, under header mappings, enter this mapping value. Choose save. Next, we'll deploy the API. On the resources page, choose deploy API. On the deploy API pop up window, choose new stage. Enter a stage name like dev and then choose deploy. Copy the invoke URL. Open a new tab on your browser and enter invoke URL and then press enter. So far we have created an AWS service integration that maps the invoke URL to index.html in your S3 bucket. To access other objects in your S3 bucket, you must create a new resource as shown. From the AWS Management Console, navigate to the API Gateway Console. In the list of APIs, select the API that you created. On the Resources page, choose Create Resource. For the Resource Path slash, enter Object or Resource Name. Choose Create Resource. In the list of resources, select Object and then choose Create Method. On the Create Method page, for Method Type, choose Get. For Integration Type, choose AWS Service. Select the region that your bucket is in. Select simple storage service as the AWS service. Keep the AWS subdomain blank. For HTTP method, choose get. For action type, choose use path override. For path override, enter the bucket name as bucket name slash object. For execution role, enter the ARN of the role that you created. Then choose create method. On the resources page, choose get under slash object and then choose integration request. In the integration request settings, choose edit, expand URL path parameters and then choose add path parameter. For name, enter object. For mapped from, enter method.request.path.object. Then choose save. Before you deploy the API, you must map the content type response. To edit the method response, choose method response. Under response 200, choose edit. Then choose add header and then enter content type. Finally, choose save. To edit the integration response, choose integration response. Under default hyphen response, choose edit. For content type header under header mappings, enter this mapping value. Choose Save. Next, choose Deploy API. For Stage, choose Dev. Then choose Deploy. Now let's test our resource mapping. I have uploaded another file to my S3 bucket. Go to your browser. Navigate to invoke URL hyphen dev. Click on another link to go to the another HTML. As you can see, I am on page 1. If I click on index, I will go back to the index page. So now you know how to use Amazon API Gateway 
as a proxy for your static website hosted on Amazon S3. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.